Hello viewers, welcome again and in this video I am going to explain about the factorial computation of a factorial of given number. So for that the modification that one should do from the circuit that we have done that is addition of n natural numbers in the previous video is you have to replace this add a addition block replace numeric palette with multiplication and here initial value should be 1 so that if you multiply with 0 all the time you will get 0 so the value will be wrong so here initial value that should be kept is 1 that that is the important point one should change and here also same for while loop also here uh, replace the adder with replace the adder with uh, multiply so these are the changes that one should do to compute the factorial of a given number using for loop or while loop so uh, now the explanation is as similar as the addition of n numbers here initial value will be 0 it is incremented with 1 and initial value is 1 so if you iterate with 1 that is 1 factorial 1 into 1 will be 1 the, my output so again here I will get um, if you increment this value that is 2 2 into 1 is 2 so for n equal to 2 that is if uh, 2 times the loop is iterated or you can say that as 2 factorial will be 2 and similarly if you do for 3 here I will get 2 and here it is so 3 to the 6 so 3 factorial is 6 in this way you can compute uh, the factorial or you can explain about the explanation how the circuit is functioning so here I already explained what is the advantage of keeping numeric than constant is you should not get back into the circuit every time to compute for different values and here these are the important that should one should be added that is uh, add shift register if you click on the loop then you will get add shift register option then you can add that and this is the block that should be connected outside so that after the successive computations that is the value that you have given here the output will be assigned to the output block unless and until then the loop will be iterated in itself so in the same way here when the loop control will be stopped or it will be activated when the incremented value and the number you have given that is to be computed are equal so this is the extra block that should be placed in the while loop whereas this block is eliminated in the for loop as you can say that the both those both are the loop controls uh, for the for loop this is the systematic mm, assignment of loop control and for while loop this is the systematic arrangement so now let's see uh, you know that values of 5 factorial that is 5 into 4 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 that is uh, 120 1 should get 120 so let me take 5 factorial and here I am running so now you can see the value the factorial of 5 is 120 so now let me change uh, using both loops we got the same answer and uh, 4 factorial uh, that is 24 that is 4 3 is 12 2 is 24 so in this way you can compute the factorial of any given number using uh, simply using uh, lab view software or one uh, we will get use of the circuit when the numbers are very big for example let me take 50 then the computation of factorial of 50 is very large uh, so it's not uh, going those many times so the workspace is not enough so let me take uh, suppose 12 so if you see here I am getting the value so in this way you can say that uh, we can get the value of uh, in the fraction of seconds you can get the value for uh, big uh, large numbers also which is very complicated to multiply so in this way you can we can use the lab software it is not getting for high numbers maybe there will there is a limitation for doing these also so uh, in this way you can do the factorial of n numbers using for loop and while loop and that's all for this video and see you in the next one